Right then folks, back there is the uh, junction point. You can go that way back to East Quantock Head, but I've decided not to do that. I'm going to go back to along the coastal path I've come and then turn off and do the other route, which looked very, very nice and pretty. Now, if you, I'm not going this way, but this is another way that takes you further along the coastal path. Um, it's all, you can see where it is, it follows all the way around. But, see? I mean, all I'm doing is just coming to about here. To take a look. No, I'm not going. I'm not going down there. I'm not doing no else. No. There's the Quantock Hills up there. Just going to get me bearings of it. There's a nice beach down there. Look, but the tide's coming in. There's probably even a way down onto that beach. But I'm, I'm not going to do it all today because I'm going back up. When I go back later, I'm going back on the beach up there. So basically, I'll just go a bit further just to get a bit more of a view here. I'm not going to walk on the edge, and I'm not because there might be snakes as well. Don't forget. So you can't really see a lot, but um, Minehead and all that are over that way. Watch it, and all you know places like that. West Quantock Head. There's a big mansion further up, West Quantock Head Mansion, where my daughter Georgia got married. In the mansion at St Audrey's. That was um. A really great wedding, really. It was beautiful, the setting. Right, so I feel I've done enough for one day. I've still got a lot to do, but I'm not going to go any further. You've got to say no. Five, ten years ago, I would have had to have walked further, you know, and, and, it wouldn't, and it wouldn't have bothered me either. It wouldn't have bothered me. I was young and fit, younger and fitter. But if we look here, I'll just zoom in down to the beach there. Tide's coming in big time now. Well, look at all the geology, everyone. Look at all that geology. The layering. That's where the fossils come from. In between the layers. Still a few people down there. Well, like I said, I'm going to walk back towards um, East Quantock's head village, but I'm not going to go the way I thought about going. I think it would be a lot more interesting to go back down this way and then turn down this lovely country lane. So that's my plan. It's not to say that another time I might arrive here, park in East Quantock head, arrive here and do that walk round to West Quantock Head. You can always pick up a bus, see? Can't do it all at once. So there we go. I can do a reverse walk. Which you do get a different perspective when you do a reverse walk. It's almost like you're doing a completely different walk when you go in the other direction. Even though I've described things en route. The sun's at a different angle when you're doing it this way round. Butterflies, bees, playing in this beautiful hedgerow of blackberries in full flower. And I mean, just if I just concentrate the camera on this section for a while, you'll just see all the flutterings and butterings that are going on all the time, the activity all the time busyness it's got bit by a bloody singing at all I'm afraid it's, it's, um, it's one of those things you just have to put up with if you want to get the shots in if you want to enjoy the moment you've got to put up with a bit of stinging and biting it's well worth it that it does heal in the end and you put some cream on. I've got some antihistamine cream in my bag. I carry it all the time now because the, the number of times I get stung in the summer is unbelievable. But look at this fantastic view, everyone. This is the Somerset coastline. This is another part of my beautiful Somerset. I deliberately came out on a Monday 
because I knew, because it was very nice weather yesterday, no football yesterday, that people would be out here. They would, of course they would. I can't blame them. It's just that, you know, it would be busy to do videos and, and have any peace. I'm not saying it'd be ultra busy, but I just think there'd be more people about than if than you do in the week. And of course, when the schools break up, it could get busy again. There's um, the church of... Um, I don't know if that's St Mary the Virgin as well. That's at um, East Quantock Head. Which I went in last week, of course. So I won't be going in there again. I did a, like a small recce. Um, and I, I've done it again today just to test the ground for Alberta. And if you go after, say, if you get over these places about 10 in the morning, you avoid all the school traffic coming out with these small villages, you know, with their big 4 by 4s um, So you don't get that problem. Just listen to the humming in this hedge. It's just humming with life. I don't know if the camera picks it up, it's amazing. And they reckon bees are dying out. God, I hope not. Who's going to pollinate all these plants? That means the plants won't be able to survive with them. This butterflies can still do it, of course. <sighs> now they'll find their ways. Right, we've got to go through. <laughs> I videoed coming through the other way a minute ago. So this is just... Um, I had to put the battery charger on. This is just me. This bit isn't so bad. There's a very, very... Dark, narrow bit I've got to go through now. This is where I'll get attacked big time. It picks up all the insects though, this camera, when I'm flying along. Right then, we just get past this one branch and then we'll just go for it. Oh. At least they weren't singing it. Oh. 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 Wow. Amazing. Amazing, isn't it? <sighs> Do you know, I just feel so lucky to be alive. Now, when I was down on that beach earlier, I could feel my sister Jude with me. I felt her presence so strong down there. Down on the beach. <sighs> I really did. She's probably still with me, but down there, it was so intense. You get that with certain, certain places with people you knew. I think it's only natural, really. When I go and visit my sister Margaret, I can always feel my mum there. I can always feel her. Her presence. There's the sheep he's cooling off. Right, at least we know we've done a bit of exploration. Because if I'd gone the other way along there, I'd have to have gone through. I can see some people actually walking through that field. So there were some people ahead of me, I think. Let me just zoom in a minute. There's the, there's the field of cows, look. But there's a big group of walkers there, look. The cows aren't bothered, look, they're not bothering them now. Is this because there's a herd of cows? It's because there's a herd. No, because there's a herd of people, I mean. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen people. I bet they'll be... They've either just been where I've been... Or they're going to be coming past me in a minute. They're probably what they're going to do, I reckon, is head for the place where there's all the where you can buy all that tea. Yeah, that's the that is the field I would have had to come over, come through, if I'd done that other route a minute ago.
They do have organised walks along here, you know. Yeah, I would imagine that those that lot are heading this way. They're going through the cow field, but the cow, as you can see, the cows did not retaliate. But I think sometimes if you're on your own, there might be more of a risk. One more look down there. There might be a bit more risk, one person, as opposed to a herd of people. It did put me off, because what I was going to do is just carry on down the road. I, I wasn't going to risk the field. And there could have been more cows up that way, so... No, I'm quite happy doing this, this way. I'll probably... I bet we'll pass. I'll pass the pass. Be interesting to see if anyone says hi, because I do find with these hiking groups... They're not always very friendly to lone hikers for some reason. I don't know what it is about groups, people in groups. Some people would be down here sunbathing and paddling in the water here. I don't know if I'd fancy it, you know, because Thinkly Point's just around the bloody corner, all that pollution and that flipping radiation. They say the fish are big around here. God, this is so gorgeous, you know. This is why people should be allowed to retire earlier as well. Because once you... I know I'm getting weaker each year. I can feel a bit more strength going. Every year, I know. It is subtle, but you do get aware. Because you, you think you can compare what you did the year before. Um, and all that sort of thing. And if you go back 10 years, you know you could do a lot more. So it does happen. So to have to retire at 65, 70. Obviously, everyone should have the choice if they want to work. But it shouldn't be compulsory once you've um, done stuff for, for your family and um, kept things going, you know. People will be burnt out. It's probably what they want, of course. They don't want to pay people's pensions, do they? It's always been like that. Most blokes used to retire at 65 and we're dead by 70. Three score years and ten, they used to say. So we had five years of retirement and he dropped dead. So that the government, even though he'd paid into his pension all his life, that's the government would take it all. But of course, now they say you've got a pension pot. I don't know how that works. It might be all right for the rich. God, you know, I had that on full zoom then for the last big part of that walk. <laughs> I didn't take it off zoom after... From back there, from so you're going to find that everyone pretty j jumpy that bit. I hate it when I forget to take it off Zoom, you know. But of course I've done the commentary, so I have to keep it. <sighs> That'll be a couple hundred yards of zo Zoomy, but I've got it back on now. Look, got it back on now. Oh yeah, I reflect on all sorts of things when I'm out. I was just wondering, I'll probably bump into that crowd. Um, but you think to yourself, you know, will they be friendly, you know? Will they be friendly? But it doesn't matter if they're not. They're all in their own groups. They all look like they had loads of gear on. Carrying rucksacks, hats, walking trousers and thick boots on. Now I've got these sandals on. Trekking sandals. And they're perf They're fine. You know what I mean? They're absolutely fine. Um, I think in the winter you need, probably, yeah, in the winter you need the thick stuff on. And um, with something like this, to be quite honest, I found with another pair of trekking shoes I got, they're more comfortable than the big walking boots. In the summer, I mean. My feet can breathe in these. They've got holes in them. See? holy sandals and they they feel actually like you're walking barefoot but I've noticed also that since I've been wearing them my heels don't hurt anymore I think wearing those bloody great big thick clob loppers they might have done more damage to my heels for some reason I've discussed this on other videos before. Or 
Right, so we're going down, we're following the the contour of the uh, the cliff top, that's what we're doing, we're following the contour of the cliff top here. With the Quantock Hills watching us carefully as we go by. I mean, they've got that tea room back there, right? It's so tempting, isn't it, to stop and say I've tea cake and um, scones, isn't it? But I've brought my own little kettle with me. I haven't tried it out yet in the van to make a herbal tea and have a bit. I've got a bit of my own cake. I'm not hungry at the moment. I've got a fruit bar I'm going to have in a minute and an orange. I don't tend to eat a great deal when I'm um, on the actual walk, but I get famished later. I do get famished later. I'm going to have to pop into Caesar though because I need to sort my chemical toilet out and just say hello to her because she's had a big day today tied up with work and everything oh look at these lovely plants they lovely it's all lovely I can hear the sea now as it's coming in closer you can hear the waves more now as I'm coming back down it's quite a good idea to have come back down actually Does look like patio paving though, doesn't it? That geological flat structure. It's amazing, isn't it, really? 